couple that is married, every married couple who wants the right thing, who loves Islam, who loves Allah and His Messenger first, this is what the religion of Al-Islam promotes when it comes to marriage. It's not just about, it's not just about fulfilling the desires. There's other benefits here. Huh? There's other benefits. What Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala said, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنْفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمًا And from His signs upon you that He has created for you, mates, spouses, نعم? that you may live with them. You may live with them in this world. And your place between the both of you, مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمًا are the brothers and sisters listening? The husbands and the wives? Mawaddatan wa rahma. That they have placed between you respect and love. That's the foundation of, 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 of zawaj in Islam. To bring about benefit, family, to bring about, to bring about um, uh, um, respect between the husband and the wife. Love, mercy, kindness. Mawad. And likewise, respect, okay? Love and mercy. That's the purpose of marriage, okay, young brothers. Not just to fulfill desires. Not just to fulfill. It's a part. It's a part of the marriage process because Allah has created every human being with that. He's created every human being with that instinctive need to fulfill the desire, okay? Now.